Uh, we're just going to go through the couple Pokemon I used for Typhlosion based off the builds I put out earlier this week. Uh, we're going to go through Gudra, Iron Jugulus, Dragonite, and uh, the dog. Um, I did build three other Pokemon, and I was using them in raids, and they all worked out fine. Um, but these are these are the four I used this weekend and had great success with. So the first one is Gudra, and uh, I suggested Chilling Water, Acid Spray, Terra Blast, Life Dew, Rain Dance, and Tearful Look. I think all of those moves are really great. Um, I also recommended a Dark type Terra for Gudra, and that seems to be great as well. So how you play Gudra is pretty much uh, you Acid Spray, you wait for it to sunny day then you rain dance unless somebody else takes care of rain dance but then you just go back to acid spraying uh or chilling water if you have that although you only need like one chilling water as a gudra player a acid spray is significantly more important and then once you're able to trasalize you can terra blast dark to the ghost typhlosion if for some reason you can't afford terra dark i would just do terra dragon and then I would do Dragon Pulse instead of Terra Blast. If you cannot afford to change it to Dark, that works well. You just won't hit, hit as hard, but totally fine. Um, held item is Citrus Berry. You can also do Shell Bell. That works great here as well. Uh, but Acid Spray is the most important. You're going to want Acid Spray till it's negative six. He is going to reset his stats once during his shield phase. You want to then prioritize Acid Spray once again, because uh, you always want him to be at negative six. That's kind of your main goal as a Gudra player. Obviously, Life Dew, so you don't have to use Heal Cheer, but uh, pay attention to healing. Uh, I feel like I say this every video, but like, you know, make sure no one dies. Um, it's okay to stop one turn to make sure your team does not die. Iron Jugulus is next with the Assault Vest. Uh, Iron Jugulus with the Dark Terror type Assault Vest. He's He does the most damage out of everyone here, uh, and he's kind of the simplest to be played. You're going to open up with a Snarl. Uh, I don't really think you need more than three Snarls. Honestly, I don't think you need more than two. So what I've been doing is Snarl, Snarl, Dragon Breath, trying to fish for the Paralysis. And then by that time, you should be able to Trasalize so you can start Dark Pulsing. If you have other support, if you have a Light Screen user or you have another Snarl user, what you can actually do is Snarl, Dragon Breath, Charge Beam. Or you can just fish for Charge Beam early. You want to only fish for Charge Beam after he clears stats, which I believe is turn three. Don't want to Charge Beam before that. But then you want to Snarl again when he does reset his own stats, which is during the shield phase. It's really, really important. I know I, I just said this. Make sure you heal. If your teammates are not healing you and you are a Terrasalized Iron Jugulus and you die being Terrasalized, you come back being a, a wet piece of paper. Uh, don't let yourself die if you cannot rely on your teammates. Just stop and heal cheer. I promise you that that one turn of healing yourself, you will continue to do more damage than dying and coming back without Terrasalization and being that wet noodle that you do not want to be. I, pro I, pro I promise you that being alive with your terrestrialization for the entire match is really great and really helpful. So don't die. If you are low on health, don't terrestrialize until you have health. Either wait for your team to cheer or you cheer yourself. That's really, really important. Jugulus does the most damage. Like I said, you're going to snarl opening and then you're going to sneak in a snarl when he resets. But otherwise, uh, once you're terrestrialized, uh, Dark Pulse is going to do crazy amount of damage. We have Dragonite here. Dragonite originally had the move Mist, and Mist is a really cool move because it prevents uh, moves like Smoke Screen or moves like uh, Smoke Screen would reduce your accuracy. Rock Tomb, if he had it, would have reduced your speed. So Mist would prevent all of those stats. We were really worried about Smoke Screen. He doesn't have it. So you can actually get rid of Mist, and you can you can put on Dragon Breath, Light Screen, Roost. I actually put on Light Screen. Light Screen handles the special attacks. Chilling Water handles the physical attacks. With Dragonite, I would Light Screen turn one, and then I would Rain Dance turn two because you're gonna want to wait till he sets Sun before you Rain Dance, and then I would Chilling Water three times. Then you're able to Trasalize, and then you can spam Hurricane. Uh, just pay attention because Light Screen will eventually wear off. Rain Dance will eventually wear off. I know I said earlier with Gudra. Um, you really only have to chilling water once uh, with Dragonite it, it just spam it because you're just trying to get to tra Trasalization as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, light screen lasts five turns rain dance lasts five turns. Just pay attention uh, for that. Uh, we have the shell bell on here. I still think shell bell is great. Yeah, Dragonite pretty straightforward. Also, it's flying type terror so easy to get in the wild. And then finally, uh, Dosh Bun. I was testing out Damp Rock. I don't suggest it because he sets up. Uh, he does sunny day like twice. But we did, I did Snarl, Lick, 
Rain Dance, and Helping Hand. Now, if you are playing with physical Pokemon like Annihilate or Water Tauros or uh, Cerulege, I think Cerulege is really bad here, by the way. Um, Howl is better, but because I was playing with a lot of special attackers, didn't need Howl. Dash Bun is like your full support here. So Snarl um, to lower its special attack. I usually open with Snarl. If no one else is rain dancing, the dog can rain dance turn two after he sets up Sunny Day. Usually two or three Snarls is good enough. And then you can fish for Paralysis with Lick. And then you're going to Helping Hand, the Pokemon that is Terrastalized. This is important. I think I said this in my other video. It's kind of useless to helping hand a Pokemon that is not terrestrialized against the Raid Shield because the Raid Shield is already restricting so much damage and terrestrialization breaks through that. So if you're helping handing a non terrestrialized Jugulus when the Raid Shield is up, you're not going to do any more damage. You're better off snarling or you're better off licking or you're even honestly, you're better off using attack cheer. Once a Mon terrestrializes, like a Dragonite or a Gudra or a Jugulus, then helping hand that Pokemon that terrestrializes. You're going to get way more bang for your buck uh, instead of helping handing a non terrestrialized Pokemon. Doggy is like the healer. So you're going to Snarl, maybe Lick, Heal Cheer, Snarl, Lick, maybe Heal Cheer, squeeze in a helping hand, maybe do a Rain Dance. Uh, the item I had on it originally was Black Glasses, which if you want to do a little bit more damage, you can do Snarl Crunch with Black Glasses. Uh, if you want to um, do that route, I was just trying Damp Rock and a couple other items, but I, I think Black Glasses is still still fine. Uh, those are the four I was using. We had great success. Uh, again, I, I did build a an Oranguru. Those were really great to play with. Uh, lots of Twitch chat was using Oranguru. Lots of Twitch chat was using Toxapex. Uh, the same for Girafferig. Uh, Toxapex, um, I'll just talk about it real quick. Uh, Toxapex would just be like turn one Chilling Water, turn two Acid Spray, Acid Spray until it's negative six, and then Sludge Bomb slash Hex, and Healing. Toxapex should be another healing Pokemon. Um, Oranguru is really great. Double screens. If you are playing with um, Dragon Pokemon, uh, Reflect first, then Light Screen, Chilling Water, Rain Dance, whatever support move you have on there, and then Shadow Ball. Uh, you don't need Taunt, because just Rain Dance instead of Taunting the Sunny Day. <laughs> That's significantly better. Giraffe Rig, kind of the same thing. Giraffe Rig, I would uh, honestly say like Defense Cheer, then Rain Dance. Wait till after he resets your stats and then start Nasty Plotting. You don't want a Nasty Plot too early. And those, those are all the Pokemon. I just want to explain how to pilot them because uh, we did have some troubles where people were forgetting to Acid Spray or people were not counting their Light Screens slash Reflect. Uh, we did beat the raid with a Finneon. Uh, I'll put a clip here with the Finneon somewhere. Uh, it was really great. The Finneon did chilling water, did rain dance. It was it was big support. Shout out to Potato for building the Finneon. Um, didn't die at all. Uh, Finneon was 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 big big brain play. So uh, we can beat it with a Finneon. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the Finneon, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, uh, all that stuff. Uh, also, before I end the video, I'm going to include a little clip of the difference between EVs and IVs. So I'm saving that for the end of the video. So if you're confused why you should EV train or IV train, I show you the difference. Uh, that's like a that's like a one minute thing if you need that. Uh, I show two Jugulises next to each other and how big of a difference IV and EV training can do. So anyways, here's the IV EV part. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I have two Jugulises. One is EV trained, one is not. They're both modest in nature and they're both level 100. And so if we look at this one, this one is 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 max in HP. That's why it's sparkly. And then it has very high special attack. That's why the blue bar is almost all the way to the top. And then it has summon defense. The reason it has defense is because um, Typhlosion might have play rough. It did have play rough. And then we have a, a level 100 Jugulus. They're both level 100 um, that doesn't have any EVs. Uh, so the difference is actually the the main stats that it has here. This one has max HP, which puts its HP at 392. And this one only has 318. So by EV training it in HP, you ultimately get 80 more points. I don't know, 7, 72, whatever the math is on that, um, 74. And then the same for special attack. So the untrained Jugulus has a special attack stat of 275. And the Jugulus with the special attack EVs, their attack is 348. The defense, 233, because we EV trained some in defense versus uh, 198. So a little bit smaller, but still 
like 35 points difference. And the reason that it has 233 is it lets it survive three play roughs where this one can maybe only survive two. But also if you had like chilling water, it goes from three play roughs to five play roughs. So, so this Jugulus is hyper trained slash perfect IVs in five of its six stats. We don't have to hyper train it into attack because we're not going to use its attack. Uh, and this one isn't hyper trained at all. Although speed is almost perfect, Fantastic is like one step below best. Best, best is the best is best. And then like Fantastic is like one step below that. EVs, EVs and IVs do make a big difference. How can we give it max IVs? Oh, super good question. Uh, and then you want to go to this guy right here with the Obama Snow. And you talk to this guy right here and he'll say, do you want to hyper train? And then your Pokemon has to be level 50 for that. So if we select this Jugulus, regular bottle caps, these are all those. So if I was to do this one, which I don't because I already have a Jugulus, I would do this, 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 and this. Because we're never going to use Jugulus's attack. So there's no point in wasting a bottle cap. Uh, and for most raids, you really don't need speed because the raid boss cheats anyways and he goes like three times in a row. But if you want to do speed, that's fine. Um, but the only one you don't have to do is attack. If you're short on bottle caps, I would skip the speed. Yeah, speed works sometimes. But if you're just, you know, if you only have four bottle caps and not five, speed is the one you skip. 